what they go do with me now I'm still a talk of the town Don't need assistance, I'm hooking them down We turn the smiles into frowns Gang hop out, then we clearing the crowd down She love me now I know why she love me The way I be dicking it down What's up, y'all? It's your girl Brianna Imani, and you're tuned into another Talk of the Town interview. And today, who we got on the couch? Man, it's our boy D Stir in the building, man. We got Philly in the building. So let me know. So D Sturdy, where you get your name from? Oh, uh, my homie he died. His name was Sturdy. And my name, I just put it as D Sturdy. After that, that shit was over. I took off. Okay, well, I'm sorry for your loss, but I'm sure you're making him very proud. So, no. for the people who don't know, how did you start getting lit? Why are you Just sitting here lit. talking to town today? I'm just lit. Don't do that. It's nice, I'm lit. I'm how you lit? You feel me? I'd, I'd just be dancing. You just I'd be turned. Dancing? I'd be turned. Okay, you just yeah. be dancing? Because last time I checked, you was also making music. Yeah, I do both. Mm -hmm. But when I rap, I got to dance, though. Okay. So I got to dance. So when did you start dancing? I always been dancing, though. Like, when I was, like, probably, like, 10. I used to be doing these funny-ass dances. Like? Humping the floor and all that. Freak ball. I'm crying. Okay, so you... <laughs> okay, so you was doing all of that. When did the whole shake that shit, all of that Oh, start? yeah. We was on the block. Me, Spence, my other homies... Mm -hmm. First it was his other dance He did some I was like oh, He did some fruity shit So we had to change that Like like It was a pause He was doing Like he was doing other He was The way he did it was weird mm -hmm. So we, so he came back over there And he said I'm gonna do it like this And after that He went on TikTok And that shit started booming Everybody started doing it Okay It called Roll the Boat Everybody started doing it Okay so, it's two dances that I know. Like, when I think of you, it's two things that I think of. I think of the whole shake that shit. Mm -hmm. And then I think of the remember me line. Oh, yeah, no. So, what is, what's that one? Oh, that's me and my man, bro, right here. Okay. Slime, hey, y'all hey, came up with that. Oh, yeah, definitely. So, was you shaking that shit before TikTok? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay. Was shaking. When I came out, I was shaking it. So, now, I'm curious to know how you feel about... Shake people, com people comparing Shake That to Rock Your Hips in oh, New no. Jersey oh, because no. that's like a big thing. Like people, all people are saying that Philly is kind of biting off of New Jersey in a way that they dance. No, in a way that they we don't dance like that. No, Fuck no. It looks kind of similar. No, it's not Rock Your Hips. You got a really like a Rock Your Hips like this. We don't do that. You got a really like get in there. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> So there's, so there's, I hear Bill over here like, yeah, like that's my, like, that's that, yeah, he rocked the hits, man, he bull. Okay, so y'all started posting y'all stuff on TikTok and yeah. all of that. When did you realize that you was getting lit? I had a mill. You said what? I had a million views. Okay, so what was that like? I was in the crib playing PS4. That shit a mill. I got up, I started shaking it though, like <laughs> dumb hard. This shit a mill. So I had the black. Uh huh. Yeah. At and that, so, at so that, that, that shit started going up more. Mm -hmm. Three mil, five mil. It started going crazy, man. Right? Like, and so what has that been like for you? Because, I mean, I'm sure the way you reacted once you got your mil, it seemed like it was unexpected. So, it was. How, so, how has it been so far, like, being a TikTok star? Um, I just feel like I'm the man. Okay. I look like I'm the man, you feel me? So, star right now. Okay, so I just called you a TikTok star, but I don't want to limit, you know, what it is that you do because I know that you are an artist as well. So yeah. how did that come about? Did you start making music after? No, I used to play started... basketball. Uh, I used to play ball. I didn't know I was going to rap. Okay. So, so I went to stool. I said that bar, that shit was over. And when did you get in the stool? Um, I been made a song called, he been made a song, he and Philly Goes been made a song called Broke Shit. Mm-hmm. One of my homies was like, he had five dollars. He was broke shit, so we just made the song broke shit. And then my man, my brother Sue, he said, shake that shit to the left to the right. Mm -hmm. That shit like probably like probably like one, I think like two hundred k or something. Then we made it drop another song. That shit like fifty k. Then after that, I went to the stool by myself because niggas was asleep. And then I hit Zah. Zah came to the stool. 
And it means that I cook something. Then he said that bar. Then I got on that joint. Then I said, shake that shit to. I said, uh, I said, yeah, shake that shit. And that shit, I mean, Spence posted on his TikTok. That shit had like, probably like 40K videos. So it was just up from there. Yeah, that shit was over. So the first thing you said, you was like one of the Philly goats. So I'm very curious about how did that come about? What is Philly goats for the people that don't know? We from Philly and we the goats. Okay, and when did when did y'all yeah. were y'all friends and then y'all got together? How did oh, y'all? Yeah, no, you've been down. You my D ones right there. Mm-hmm. And how many of y'all is it? Four. And who is it? Who? Me? No, mm-hmm. not me. Like I'm already goat. Sue, <laughs> Spence, Lee, and Ray. Okay. Yeah, that's five actually. Yeah. Okay, so y'all all make music and dance, or no? I, I'm the one make music. Me, and my man Spence. Okay. Yeah. So how? But y'all all kind of lit, cause I no, see yeah, all lit. of y'all on my for you page on TikTok and everything oh, like no, that. Yeah, we lit. So how does it feel like getting lit and going up with all the people that you consider to be your friends? Oh, that should be fucking crazy. Like everywhere we go, we just be turned. Mm-hmm. Like the clubs and all that, we be turned. So you being like, how old are you? I'm on, man. <laughs> Seventeen, man. So you be in the clubs lit? Yeah, I'm lit. So man. I'm off the Casamigos. You off the Casamigos? Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly. I'm lit. Feel me? Uh-huh. Yeah. So how is the how does that work? Like when you perform and you guys go to like these events and stuff like that, like how is it, you know, navigating your age versus like where y'all performing at? Because I've been seeing y'all with big names. Yeah, yeah, we like sometimes when I'm performing, like Big Jones, mm-hmm. I just like at the do shows. I wasn't nervous because like I'm, I'm already used to it. Because once I hear that shake that shit part come on, I'm a draw from the rip, and we all gonna start drawing. That's how I get. Anywhere we go, they come. So we gonna draw. We turn up the parties, turn up the clubs, we turn the kids up. We gonna turn up all summer. So be prepared. And that's with music and with dancing. Yeah. Which one do you think you do better? Both. Equally? Yeah. If you had to choose one, would you choose to keep dancing or would you choose to keep making music? No, dance. I got to dance. You choose to keep dancing? Yeah. Okay. That's I fair. can't stop dancing. So, I'm also, I got to ask you because I got you on the couch. It's like, when I, it's like when I wake up in the crib, uh huh. I just dance. No <laughs> bullshit. I just keep dancing. You be shaking that show or you just be doing reg- regular ass? I just be hype as shit. Mm-hmm. Good vibes. Good energy. That's why like mom that. kicked me out of the crib. For dancing? Because I be too hype. Fuck it, though. It's cool. <laughs> okay, so speaking of cribs and speaking of dancing, whose living room do y'all be in when y'all be making y'all videos? Because I feel like oh, that's, nah, a- nah, that's the TikTok crib. Oh, it's a TikTok crib. Nobody knew about that, though. They call the TikTok crib. So y'all be going there just to make videos and nobody live there. Yeah, that's it. No, okay. no, my homie live there. We like, yeah. Uh-huh. Just a TikTok crib. Okay. We set it up right here and everybody just blick all day. Y'all be lit. All day. Okay. So on the music <laughs> end, I'm interested to hear about your creative process because I noticed that, correct me if I'm wrong, it don't seem like you have any solo songs yet, no. right? So how does that work when you're collabing with you know, the people that you're making music with, what does that look like? I made a song with, like, Mayor. I made a song with Spence. That's my man. Mm-hmm. I did a solo joint, but I ain't never dropped it, though. Why? I made a song with D4M. Why didn't yeah. you drop your solo song? I'm working on a solo joint. I'm about to drop one, though, for sure. And when can we look out for that? Soon? Yeah, soon. Okay. So, how did, but how does it work, though? Like, y'all decide, y'all going to the stool, y'all about to cook something up? Do you do yeah. it beforehand? Oh, because Ray, that's my man's, too. So, mm-hmm. we all just went. He was he was there because he, like, he finished the song. He, he fixed some joint up, so we just stayed there with him. Mm-hmm. He said, I want to cook something, and then we cook something with him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, that joint going up, too. We just dropped that, uh, like, two days ago. Yeah, is that the Sri Lanka? Yeah, shit, the honey. That looked lit. Day. I saw that y'all filmed that in Miami, right? Yeah, definitely. So how was that? Cause y'all, I don't know how long y'all was in Miami for, but it seemed. Uckety like- Humper <laughs> Week. <laughs> Say that one more time. <laughs> oh no, that's the yeah. It was lit that week, the whole week. Uh huh. Cause it like, seemed like I was there forever. Y'all was just acting bad. Yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't leave. 
So would save you say my, I saved my cheese to stay? I had to stay, bro. And it, like, I had like I spilled all my cheese down there. <laughs> all my cheese at last, bro. <laughs> Only had a bean on cash. Yet. You see? <laughs> so what you? What I you, had what to you keep it, it on? bro. What you was spending it on while you was out like, there? I would just spend it on everything, like uh, everything. Every girl I seen, I came at. Oh, with the buddy, so you was you was just what dropping a bag on? Oh no, oh, hold up. So, cause you said every girl you seen, oh, you start going overboard. And we was talking about money. You just said pussy. you went. <laughs> Listen, I'm not saying you had to pay for pussy. I'm um, saying so I, I was just doing. Like, I was just no. I was just lie. outside. It was outside. That's what it was. Mm-hmm. I was just buying stuff, bro. Buying shots and all. Like, too hype. <laughs> so I looked in my pocket. <laughs> that shit was nothing there. <laughs> I had to call Dukes and all for cash it, bro. Nah. <laughs> that shit, bro. I'm talking about the food cost $40 down there. I'm That's doing my life, bro. Chips cost probably like $10. They taxing, bro. Oh, well, wait until you keep traveling. You got so much more to learn. So oh, no, it's over. That's, that's hilarious. So what, where would you say has been like the city that has showed y'all the most love so far? Oh, Baltimore. Ooh, ooh. And why you say that? They hump. <laughs> Them girls freaky as shit out there. Oh, no. <laughs> I love Baltimore. You love Baltimore or you love the women in Baltimore that you No, nah, both, both, both. Okay. Yeah, both. So outside of, uh, of the freaks, what was it about Baltimore that, that like, how was they showing you love? They just do too much. Like, mm. like that should be jumping. Like, I don't know, boy. She just like. She be wearing with everybody be shaking it. Mm-hmm. It's your love. I ain't gonna lie. But the girls, the girls show like different type of love. Yeah, they get too freaky. Oh, next to them they grab it on you. All you gotta see is come to the telly. Uh uh-uh. uh. They <laughs> slide. <laughs> and they be sliding. What? Well, come on, they come with the whole group. Oh, so deep? y'all all you everybody eat because I know everybody, you got to go too. I swear on everything. We would eat, yeah. Wow, that's interesting. So does it ever get like I, I don't want to say annoying, but does it ever get to be too much to be having people? Because you said they be grabbing on you and stuff like that. Like, yeah, uh, sometimes they go like, yeah, that's what I'm saying they be going overboard. Sometimes they be pushing and all that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because they be so small in a little spot, so she be like, they be pushing and all that. Mm-hmm. Sometimes they be drawn, but what's, other than that, it should be jumping. I ain't gonna lie. What's been the craziest like interaction you had with somebody? I walked in the club one day. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about a bitch grab my dick, bro. <laughs> I'm not lying. I just like I just think about it all the time. You think she, about that grab? She grabbed it like, come here. I said, yo, just for the people. Who are I'm gonna hump you. <laughs> Uh-uh. Not you liking it. <laughs> so that was the craziest thing that's happened to you. Yeah, yeah. So you got her? No, I ain't hungry. I ain't hungry. Oh. I ain't hungry. Mm. Well, for people that's watching out here, just because he liked it, don't think uh, that's okay. Because okay. that, that is that is not it. Okay. So I ain't gonna lie, I ain't bougie. I'm tripping. You said what? I ain't bougie. I mean, I'm not talking about you. I'm, I'm talking about shit for everybody. Where I want to get humped, they get humped. Oh, you are. Oh, no, no, I'm bad, I'm bad, y'all. I'm playing around. <laughs> Chill, y'all ladies still over there. Still over there. Y'all doing too much. Yeah, because they'll come after you because you said you liked it. No, I'm bad. Uh-huh. I'll be chilling. Do people come up to you and ask you to, to dance? Like, Oh, yeah. They be drawn with that sometimes. I can imagine. Because I know. In the mall with my mom and all that. Nah, that's okay. They be drawn. And so, how do you like? What's I your do response? it though. I ain't gonna lie, I do it. And that's why they keep asking you. Cause like I just do it. I be big. I like the big. Like, oh yo yo, that's the, shake that shit, shake it. I got you, young boy. Drawn. <laughs> so you gotta do it, cause you gonna, cause they gonna be on some weird. Like yo yeah, he too bougie. You know, like you don't want to do it. Yeah, the TikTok be glazing, so I just do it. Really. Yep. So you think like do you think that's gonna change though eventually mm. as you keep like going up or you think every time somebody asks you to do it you're gonna keep doing it because no you, no yeah, I'm gonna stop yeah 
Because there has to be a balance. You yeah. are entitled to your own time. Yeah, sometimes, like, sometimes I don't do it, but sometimes I be doing it because I be turned. Mm -hmm. uh, I be turned. Okay. So, do you feel like people, when they think about you, they think of you as an artist? Or do you think they think of you as, like, a TikTok? No, they, I, most of y'all, they, they all know me from TikTok, though. I ain't gonna lie. Mm -hmm. I was down in Miami. They all been saying, like, that's a TikTok boy. Yeah, but they they know my song though for sure. Right. Well, I mean, yeah, got over nine. Yeah, million. they know who I am. Yeah, for sure. So, I mean, is that okay with you? Like, is it don't there... matter. Like, I'm going. You feel me? Mm -hmm. I'm going to blow up regardless. So, it don't matter. Okay. So, but is there an end goal for you? Like, is it like you want to make it as an artist, or is it just like no, you I want to make it make as it? an artist? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Okay. And you think you're gonna still stay in the same lane when it comes to your music? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I ain't switching the flow. Okay. Okay. So, you are in New York, and I heard something very interesting that you said in an interview that you did. And you said that you wouldn't charge people for a feature. You're okay with doing free features, but you said them New York niggas, they would have to pay for a feature. And I'm curious to know. I never said that, though. Yes, you did. I did? Yes, you did. Said a you was I like, did. yeah, a band. A band is nothing. It's like, yeah, a band is nothing. I probably did. You I did. did. So now I'm just interested. No, no, I charge futures. I don't know. Yeah, you That's tripping. what I wanted to know, because I think that was in, like, January. I charge 10K. The 10K a feature? Five bands. So, <laughs> and that's across, across the board, you charging 10K for a feature? Probably 30 you said what? Probably 30K. As in 3-0? Yeah. Oh, wow. So who would you who would you hop on a track with without charging them for a feature? Like, is there any, like, Nick, give me, like, three people. Like Famous? Yeah. Uh, Dirt? Mm-hmm. The B? No, hell no. Not the B. I'm tripping. Lord B. You said not the baby? No, not the baby. I don't mm. like the baby. Why not? He are, but like, well, he gonna get you up, but like, he not over little, little baby though. Mm -hmm. Come on, bro. <laughs> I tripping. No cap. I like no cap too though. No cap is cool. Yeah, I'm three right there. All right, so I told you three for a reason because I want five. Now you gotta give me two New York artists since you said that. So who's two New York artists that you'd be willing to do a collab with? No, I like K Flop. I ain't gonna lie. He hot. Mm hmm. Uh, what's his name? Pop, no, he pop, he pop smoke fire. I ain't gonna lie. Rest in peace, pop. Yeah, them two right there. Okay, K Flock and Pop. Yeah. All right. So, being that you and you from Philly and you here in New York, I just got a couple things to ask you about Philly culture because I don't know if it's a cultural thing or not. The white chalk on your your hairline. What's the? Is that a Philly thing? Is that a you thing? That's not chalk. Whatever it is, the That's pencil. That's the barber. But y'all be old like, in. Like, I feel like y'all personally. No, no, no. Sometimes. Uh-huh. I little pencil in my pocket. Oh. Because <laughs> it be looking real bright in a lot of the videos. Like, a lot. Sometimes, yeah, I should. I, I'd go to the mirror do a little cookie jar. So my shit dig so I can. I gotta, I gotta fix him up. You feel me though? You gotta fix him up. I don't wanna keep working around dick head line. <laughs> so I gotta put the little whammy. Sharpening. <laughs> that shit gonna look back. <laughs> That's an awkward right there. You feel me? But the barber Jones, his Jones, like his Jones, a little too white, like yeah. ashy, right? Then your forehead be tight. I thought y'all liked it. Cause like the barbers do it, they, 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 they pin to it, then they sh like shape you up. This should make your forehead tight. Mm. So I wait like a week after that. I got a little little, little pencil, you know, shit me up. I'm back. It's cool. Okay. And then the next thing, the Under Armour. Y'all all seem to wear Under Armour. What's that about? My man, bro, started up. Bro started wearing Under Armour. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. And it just took off from there. Yeah, everybody started doing wearing it. Yeah, I nervous. I noticed that because I'm like. I haven't really I ain't seen lie. I ain't wear that junk. Like I ain't gonna lie. We wear it. I had to throw it on. Mm -hmm. So I tried it. That's nice. I tried it and on. And I'm looking around like y'all literally all got something Under Armour on. That's crazy. Oh no, real rap. No, he got everything. Bro got the socks. 
Uh, like he, I can't see. I see nigga with pink Under Armour shoes on. Mm-hmm. He started going overboard. Yeah, Under Armour shoes on them, <laughs> like pink joints. Mm-hmm. So I hate to do it to him, and I hate to do it to you because I feel like I'm putting you on the spot. But you posted about it, so I feel like I could ask you, Layton, bro. You posted about it. You posted about it. I never posted, yes, though. Yes, you did. Yes, I'm talking you did. about. And you say you tried to. But look, though, get that's them between me and Bro. <laughs> you say you tried to get them back together in your post, did you not? Oh, you know, you was, you was trolling. You was trolling. So that, so that whole thing was like a publicity stunt? No, we was trolling that, though. You feel me? Mm-hmm. I, don't, like, I don't know what's going on with them. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Mm-hmm. That's between them and. You're not going to speak on that, too. The whole room got real silent, y'all. <laughs> no, we're real. I don't just like, feel me? Silent. I don't, that's between them. I don't know what's going I on. I mean, I wouldn't have asked you if I didn't see see you post about it on your page. Oh, no, you were trolling. the way that you feel about it is the way that you feel about it. No, you so. were trolling that. I ain't going to lie. Okay. Right. So, when it comes to putting content on your page and determining what it is that you want to post, where do you get your ideas from? You just be bored. Like, if you sitting right here on your phone, like, even course you, even course you be like, yeah, he broke. He need money on cash. Yet. That it's gonna go up on TikTok because you looking like you broke. You just sitting there. You on your phone. Hey, that's what we do, and then it's gonna go up. Probably like hundred k. Mm-hmm. You gonna be in the comments saying L friends, weirdo stuff. I'm weak. Okay, so if somebody was trying to go up on TikTok or somebody was trying to, you know, kind of get to where you and your friends are at right now, what would be some advice that you would give creators today? Just, if you see us one day, just like ask for like a, t- a video of TikTok, and we're going to dance in your video, and then record us one more time, and we're going to dance, we're going to do a TikTok, us dancing and recording us, and do like flea goose behind the scenes. It's gonna go up. Uh, so yeah, and then dance like a song, like you feel me, and do like one of our songs, or just do like a Chris Brown drum. Let me like drum or burn. Let me usher drum, like let it burn or something. Mm-hmm. It's gonna go up. What made y'all start making videos to remember me and like no games and like those old songs? How did oh, that? No. Like how? I mean, we do this. We we do songs in anything. Mm-hmm. I'm told we dance like Jamaican songs. I know. I saw the no games on there. And yeah, all that. like we do all that because we are trendsetters. Everything we like everything that. we do, they gonna do. Mm-hmm. So I go on TikTok. So, well, I'm interested. Walk me through a day in the life of trendsetter D Sturdy, from the time you wake up to the time that you go to sleep. What's the day in your life looking like? I don't know. Sometimes I be bored as shit. <laughs> All right. Um, so, a produ- wait, walk me through what you would consider to be a productive day. Like, sometimes I get up, take a shower, go outside, go down the way, and these niggas doing TikTok all day. Mm. It's like boring. It get boring sometimes, but then it don't. And then we call some little leads, or, there, or sometimes we go to the stoop. And after that, it should be over, the day over. Oh, wow. Okay. Cool. So, tell me, what's next? What's what's next for these 30 What you got oh. coming up? I don't know yet. I'm about to go to the studio today and cook some. Going to the studio today, yes. You got anything that you've been working on outside of what you're going to work on today? Uh, I was chilling. <laughs> All right. Well, is there anything else that you want the people to know? Yeah, I'm taking over, man. Stay tuned. These three in the building. <sighs> All right. Shout out your... Oh, my fault, my fault. <laughs> yeah, shout out Fleet Goats, man. Shout out everybody. Just long showing love. Shout out to the supporters and all. You feel me? Your your <sighs> handles, Instagram, TikTok? I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these to me. Yeah. Find me on the gram, D. Sturdy, not two underscores. Follow my TikTok, unbanned dicey, because they ban me on my regular page. And right. somebody can't get it back. 
Uh-huh. Over there. <laughs> what? The speaker. Y'all can blame me, y'all. How you blame your team for not getting your page back? You know, not stuff. What, what you got banned for? I don't know. I ain't doing it. I just woke up. I try to make a TikTok. That shit love me right out. Like from the rip. I'm about to cry, bro. I swear to God. I called him a hundred times, but he's still not <laughs> oh, getting it back, bro. <laughs> well, I mean, back. your account going up, like, you getting it back. No, he ain't passed that, but that was my account. Like, that was the one to make me be a star. I was going to blow up for that one. Because I had, like, 70K. And, like, for me, every video I had, like, 500K. It was going up. I woke up, that shit left, bro. I was sick. I'm talking about I ain't seen my profile at all. I'm talking about I was mad as shit, bro. <laughs> I can tell that really touched you. Cause that shit I made me <laughs> cry, bro. I had to make a whole page, bro, like different page with zero followers. I'm talking about I went, I went right to the TikTok crib and grind. <laughs> from the rip, though, I got a lift from the doors. 40 ball. <laughs> grind. Come on. I did it for QDB, right? Me and both got oh yeah, both got banned. Wow. Okay. All right. Well, so that's that's it. You good? Thank yeah, you for coming. Yeah, yeah. Welcome to New York. Yeah. I hope you enjoy the rest of your time here. Right and we out.